Hello, everyone. I would like to start off exactly where I've started in my life, and that is being a 15-year-old student, an exchange student of the FLEX program in the United States of America, where I went to study for my sophomore year in high school. There were two cue points that I would take out of my academic year in the United States coming from the background that I've come. The first one is that knowledge-wise, book-wise, my teachers had taught me absolutely everything I needed to know to be prepared to live in this world. Academically, we were so far ahead that um, my classmates would call me a genius. Imagine, I guess only Peace Corps volunteers would understand what I'm talking about in being in 10th grade. I would, I would take calculus as my math class and they were like, wow, you're so genius. Is everyone so smart in Ukraine? But uh, the second point that no one really saw was that life-wise, we were not as prepared as I would thought. Coming from a background that we are all coming here from, and that is the post-Soviet Union, we didn't quite understand how to make it one, how to go into an absolutely different environment and how to become a part of that environment. We were never taught to accept the diversity of the world that was outside of ours. We were never taught how to communicate with the huge diversity of people that there are out there in the world. Unfortunately, we were never taught to be open, to accept, to be flexible to whatever life has to offer for us. And that is something that I had to teach on my own. Luckily, I had great friends in the United States. I had even greater teachers. And that was something that was also very new for me when your teacher is a friend. He is not just an adult who is there to control you and to contribute to you knowing what you have to know book-wise. It was a friend who would, there, who would be there to support you when you're on your low, when you have a bad mood, when you broke up with your boyfriend or whatever. So there were some very different points in life when I realized that it was very important to self-educate yourself. To, as a teacher, now I would say that the most important thing for our teachers is to teach students to learn themselves to get to know themselves and to be able to be open to all the environment that there is in this huge world. 15 years later, here I am, the deputy of the regional council, one of the youngest deputies in the regional council that there are. I'm also the leader of the deputy fraction. Needless to say, I'm the youngest deputy in our fraction because general age of the deputies is around 40, 50 years old. And when I became a deputy and I headed the fraction, I was 28 years old. And still the 11 people that there were in our political party in the fraction, they chose me to be their leader. Communication, collaboration are the key points of anything that you want to be successful. Absolutely anything. Being open to whatever circumstances that life offers you. Being flexible enough to accept them, to soak up the circumstances that are around you, and to build a new reality for yourself. Not only for your environment, which builds itself after you build it for yourself. These are the key principles of a successful person as I see it for myself. In politics, the sphere that I'm working in, the most important thing is probably communication. Being able to communicate your ideas, your standards, to the electors even, made me even gain the result that I had during these elections. Being a young girl, when I came over to... to 
uh, talk to people during the elections, they were looking at me like, girl, did you finish high school? Like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, yes, I did in university also. Would you vote for me, please? In that way, when people see you being open, they try to contact you. The same thing in the United States 15 years ago. It was one of the most horrendous experiences in my life. And on the same hand, it was one of the most rewarding. Because being able to break the walls that we all built for centuries, probably, our nation built for centuries, and uh, unfortunately, our society is still built that way, that we still build the walls, we still keep them standing, we still try to discipline everyone, but not making them to thrive, to grow, to open to the whole world. And what I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make today is only through this openness, communication, and collaboration, hence the result that we all strive for, we can make our students grow out of this box that unfortunately we and the previous generations put them into. Whether it's politics, whether it's becoming a great student, whether it's making friends abroad, whether it's reaching result as a consensus in the political sphere in council where we also have 10 political parties for 64 deputies. So divide 64 by 10 and you have a whole bunch of ideas and standards and ideologies that have to fight constantly. And in that circumstances, being the leader of the fraction, you always have to communicate. You always have to find a openness in yourself and in your partners, in your colleagues, finding that something in common that makes you not only prove your point, not only with the result that you're striving for, it makes you build a connection and therefore build a future for your region, for your school, for your class, and for your country. So let's strive for results. Thank you.